What's happening there, let's take the big picture, then we can go to the small picture. The big picture is uh, people are dying in the streets every day. The number 50 is certainly too few. They're still finding bodies. Um, Ukraine is splitting apart down the middle because Ukraine is not one country, contrary to what the American media, which speaks about the Ukraine and the Ukrainian people. Historically, ethnically, religiously, culturally, politically, economically, it's two countries. One half wants to stay close to Russia, the other wants to go west. We now have reliable reports that the anti-government forces in the streets and there's some very nasty people among them, are seizing weapons in Western Ukrainian military bases. So we have clearly the possibility of a civil war. And the longer term outcome may be, and I want to emphasize this because nobody in the United States seems to want to pay attention to it, the outcome may be the, co the construction, the emergence of a new Cold War divide between West and East, not this time as it was for our generation, in faraway Berlin, that right on the borders of Russia, right through the heart of Slavic civilization. And if that happens, if that's the new Cold War divide, it's permanent instability and permanent potential for real war for decades to come. That's what's at stake. One last point. Also something that nobody in this country wants to talk about. The Western authorities, who bear some responsibility for what's happened, and who therefore also have blood on their hands, are taking no responsibility. They're uttering utterly banal statements, which in, because of their vacuous nature, are encouraging and rationalizing the people in Ukraine who are throwing Molotov cocktails, now have weapons, are shooting at police. We wouldn't permit that in any Western capital, no matter how righteous the cause, but it's being condoned by the European Union in Washington as events unfold.